Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this launch activity. These are called Ken Ken puzzles. Uh, this is another math sort of logic puzzle um, kids really like. Um, it's very similar to Sudoku if you like that, but it involves some basic computation skills uh, as well. So there are paper versions, which I have here uh, down in the bottom corner, and then there's a web-based version, which you see up on the screen. So we'll start with the paper version to kind of show you um, how this works. Um, so you can choose either any size. Uh, this is the basic three by three, but you can go as high as nine by nine. Um, and the larger it is, obviously, the more difficult it gets. Uh, we've done these with as uh, young as first graders. Uh, you see, this is a three by three with addition only. Uh, so this will be like the most basic kind. Um, these are uh, customizable. So you can go to this website and you can create your own. They also have, I'll show you, they also have a uh, educator sign up where they send you uh, like a weekly pack for free uh, and you can do them. So this is a great way to launch. Kids come in, we sit down, um, you know, we kind of warm up the brains a little bit. Um, we'll see. So here are the rules. Uh, you have to use the numbers one, two, and three in every column and every row. So very similar to Sudoku. They cannot overlap one another. Uh, and in addition, then they have what are called these cages. You see these sort of dark outlines. So here is just one here and it's got a one. Uh, here the cage is around these two and it says five plus. That means that these two boxes have to add up to be five. Uh, you know, these two boxes have to add up to be three and they use plus minus times divide symbols depending on how difficult you'd like it to be. So these are like singles or given. So what that means is like, I know this is a one and I know this is a one, okay? And then kids would go through and say like, okay, so this is five plus. So I know this has to be two and three, but I'm not sure what order that goes in. Up here, this, these two have to add up to be three. So I know that has to be a one and a two. Well, this can't be a one because there's already a one in that column. So I know this would have to be a two and this would have to be a one. That means then because we have to have one, two and three in every row, that makes this a three. Now, because we have to have one, two and three in every row, that makes this a two. Well, this cage adds up to be eight. So I already have three and two, so that's five. So you see how this works now. We start working with this to make all of the ones, twos, and threes work in alignment and all the cages work with the math operations. Uh, so pretty fun game, quick. Uh, again, this was like an easy version here. If we look here, you'll see this is very similar to like Wordle where it is a daily puzzle. Um, so you can choose when I come to this website. Again, that's linked above the little video scaffold here, Ken Ken, K-E-N, K-E-N. And I can choose any of the sizes to play if I want, um, that's there. But then probably, and then down here is the Ken Ken in the classroom. You can go ahead and you can sign up there. It tells you what's going on. Um, if you want that, they'll just send you a email with a set of free Ken Ken puzzles. That's perfect uh, for use if you wanna do that. Or if you wanna create your own, you can click create your custom puzzle. You can select the size that you want. You can select the operations that you want, and you can select the difficulty that you want. And then when you hit play, you can either have the option to play it online, or you could then share the link with your kids digitally, or you can print them or save them, which is how I got, um, or how I've created this list here, or I've created these packets of different ones. I created different puzzles uh, based on uh, specifications that I wanted. So there's like a four by four um, that's addition only. Here's an example of a four by four that's got division, multiplication, uh, operations in it, and you can make them as large as you want. Uh, so for example, here's one, there's a five by five that's addition and subtraction. And again, as the size gets bigger, then instead of numbers one through three, now we're using numbers one through five. So again, there is a hand-based or a non-tech option if you wanted for kids. You could create them and print them out to have for kids, or you could direct them to this website uh, and have them do it. Really fun. Kids really like these a lot. And then the next level of this for student creation would be once kids figure out how to do this, to have kids create these on their own and have other kids play them. So they make the puzzle, they've got to figure out how do I reverse engineer 
the puzzle to work and draw the cages and come up with the operations. And that's where we really get some higher level thinking. And again, it's a pretty quick hitter, especially once kids know how to do it. Uh, maybe you don't want to play it every day or maybe just once a week or whatever, but kids really enjoy it. It's pretty basic. Again, math fluency, working with some pretty basic single digit addition, subtraction, multiplication, division.